This is where my dream started, right here on the shores of Lake Okeechobee. As a kid growing up, fishing team tournaments and all the different tournaments around the lake, one day dreaming that I'd win a Bassmaster Elite right here in my backyard. I love this lake. It's ever-changing and it's always challenging. And this year's no different. We've got high water, muddy water, complicated things going on. But at the end of the day, it's the opportunity I've been waiting for. And I'm ready to go. talking about Lake Okeechobee, dude. Dude, <laughs> yeah. I you know, said, careful around I like, here. There's somebody back stuff. They ain't left yet. Yeah, you, you gotta be careful around here. That's a deadly attack. So, dog. Let me tell you a funny part. See that door was open a little yeah. bit over there. So when I came in, I walked in the kitchen. You're like, you thought somebody was in there? Yeah, I was like, I, I went like this. I, went, I just went, I went, <laughs> and then I kept walking. I'm like, this is weird. So I'm just quiet in here. <laughs> Canterbury's ate some cereal. I was doing like my detective work. You have that for breakfast? Yeah, breakfast. <laughs> breakfast of champions, right there. Breakfast of champions. 14 hands, huh? I got the same clothes I wanted to have last night. Yeah. Uh, like this year, I don't, I don't even have a suitcase packed for this one. Really? No. I, 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 mean, I got mine packed for every tournament. Yeah, I know. <laughs> He's already got the long range forecast and everything. Got his thermals packed for the Can next, for the classic. Canberra told me you've got all your rods and everything ready for the classic already. Right? No, just six of them. Just six of them. Is cereal any good, Camber? Yeah, right. We're eating healthier this year. No more Palomar biscuits. No, that's great right. grains. Great, huh? Great right, grains. Right. Is it great? Okay. Is it great? You had some. Anything that says great probably ain't. So I have a question for everybody. What should we do? We want a healthy approach to Palomar biscuits because I don't think I want to give up those. It's pretty damn good. So we hear you're, you're giving it up. You, you can't have them. You, you yeah, I think we can do. We can do turkey sausage. That won't be near as good. Well, we know nothing's near as good when you cut down on a lot of that. We just don't eat it. We leave no. it out. Mm. It'll be good. It's all about the cream cheese and the bread. Yeah, nah, we can't have but that kind of stuff. That's the problem. Yeah. You change the sausage. That ain't the main. That ain't the main issue. I eat turkey sausage and turkey a lot. That's good. We should take it on the road this year. Should we take it on the road? You want to go on the road, Bill? Come here. 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 Dude, you want to go? Just smash me. He's calling my ass. You want to go on the road this year, buddy? You're going to get me away from this guy. <laughs> you want to go to Seminole? You can ride. Okay. What's the one down here on the canal? That's where I'm going to put in. Ain't there one at Seven Mile Ditch or something? More Haven. Yeah, that's where I'm gonna put it. It's a little closer. Yeah. Only, the only reason I'm not going to, and you might want to consider this, it's gonna be west wind all day. If there's anything to check, like in front observation on the way home tonight or any of that, you're gonna be driving right by. If you launch there, you, there's nothing in the monkey box to worry about. There's, you know, you just, I don't know. But you could fish that river canal. Well, I'm gonna go to Fish Eating Bay and yeah, all yeah, that. Yeah, 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 do that. That'd be good. I'll check that, look, because I'm going to check this right here, if they're on. What, so? Yeah. I mean, I'm going to check four or five places, you know, quick. If I get bit, then we'll get bit a lot of places. But, we, but it's sensitive. The problem is, I mean, it, it can lead you down the wrong road. If we find something on that shoal today, there's still a good chance it might not be it good in the tournament. Be good, because yeah. if the wind switches. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be this, like during the week. Like it's going to blow a lot of different directions. Yeah.
First time we launched a boat in a while. First time we unstrapped it tournament morning, tournament practice morning. You know, here's the deal. Get three days to figure this place out. Obviously I live here. Um, I love the lake, I understand the lake pretty well. We're dealing with some conditions that are a little bit different than we have in the past. We've got high water this year. That could be an advantage for me, I don't know. We'll see. But there's certain areas that are not gonna be in play and then there's certain areas that will be in play. The main thing is trying to figure out what areas are gonna play for the tournament, not what plays today. The wind and the weather affects these fish tremendously. And uh, so I've gotta make re really, really good decisions. I gotta keep evaluating everything that I do to put myself in position to catch them during the tournament. So let's get after it today. We're gonna, we're gonna make a loop around the lake uh, up the west side for the most part and see if we can't uh, find two or three productive areas. popular area obviously we'll see what we can find wind's gonna blow like 30 miles an hour at some point today so we gotta be a, a little good on our efficiency today it's a special event for me being here on my home lake a lot of nerves but good nerves a lot of decisions to be made you know, for me and, and, and how I like to fish this lake is it, I don't want to find too much stuff. I want to find two or three areas that I can milk it out and sit in a lake where you run around all over the lake, fish here for five minutes and run over there and catch that one and run over here. Like you need to just settle down, find an area that's got some fish moving in and really stretch it for what it's worth. You know, they had the major league fishing event this last week. So a lot of ways to catch them are out of the bag right now, which is not great. A lot of areas were exposed. A lot of fish were caught, but we're gonna catch them. We are gonna catch them. Real quick, I wanna take this moment to say thank you to every single one of you that watch our videos, that have supported us over the years. We've got about a thousand videos on the channel right now, and the most fun ones that I do are the Unfinished Family Business. So I just wanna thank you from the bottom of my heart for watching us and supporting us. We've got a lot of merch this year that we're gonna have. We're gonna be dropping links uh, in the descriptions as well for merch. We're gonna have some little special sales on our Instagram page, so be sure to jump over to the Scott Martin Challenge Instagram page and check that out, guys. But again, thank you so much for all the support. Um, honestly, my motivation um, is a lot of things, but a lot of it is you guys watching the videos, pushing me along. So I'm out here fishing for you. So thank you for watching what we do. And um, thanks to McCoy and everybody on the team that does a great job putting all this together. So. We're going to have a great year this year. It's going to be a lot of fun. And I uh, just hope you guys join us. Join us for the ride. I drill out. No foil. The deal is on this lake, you want to find areas that have diversity. That's milfoil, there's hydrilla right there, and eelgrass. And this right here won't get muddy. I mean, this would take like, this just can't get muddy, really. I mean, it'd take a 30 mile an hour south wind for two days to blow it back here. And the second thing is, this lake's flat. It gradually gets deeper as you go out, gradually gets shallower as you go in. There's a zone, a depth zone that these fish prefer. When the water's high like it is this year, you want to try to find the shallowest bank. There's not really a bank, but shallowest area that these fish can move up in that has diversity, has holes, has clarity. If the lake was low, it would be the opposite. You'd find the depressions. A lot of times we're fishing on a low lake, and we're not looking for the shallow stuff against the bank. We're looking for the deep troughs and the little things out here in the channels. So you just got to think differently with the water up. This looks good right in here. They've found diversity. There he is. All 
right. Hi, buddy. What up, buddy? What up, buddy? Oh, yeah. That's not a big one, but that's okay. It's the first bass of the 2023 season right there. Official season right there. Chatterbait. I made a slight adjustment to the chatterbait. We'll talk about that later on. And uh, it didn't take long to do a bite. So just a small one, but we got to start somewhere. Ooh, slow down, man. Just understanding how these bays are laid out and understanding how grass can block that wind, block that muddy water from coming in. And if you can line that up with a spawning area, you get you a pretty darn good plot spot to fish. But this little zone right in here can be good. They get in here anyways. Oh, oh golly. One just knocked it, dude. midday report we've got one you know i think what's happening anytime the wind blows this hard it moves a lot of water and the fish typically don't bite as good as you think they would on this lake it just i don't know why it just moves it around i think a that's what's happening right now so i don't want to waste a lot of time on this area i've hit enough to know that they're not biting some of the same areas that i fished today 100 percent could win the tournament in there come four days from now. So it's just getting a feel, getting looking at the water, looking at the hydrilla, you know, all those things. So I'm gonna make a run down into moonshine now. It's a totally different type of deal. And um, see if we can't find some, some active fish. Back in a place that I haven't been in, it's been 10 years. 10 years, and there's so much water back here, it's endless. And that fish has got a tag too. Look at that. It's got a tag. Cut tag here. $100 reward. $100 fish, man. All right, so I was just fun. I don't know. I'm excited. You know, it, it, this lake's so big. And depending on the water levels, it really depends on where you're going to fish. And this year with the water being high, it's opened up thousands of acres of marsh back here. Um, but pretty cool stuff. Let's get back to it. Body. He's just a little old body. I think he's lived his whole life in here. Mm -hmm. 
bass. I'm telling you, it's just been so long. Love you. Since I've been in here. That's good stuff right there. Good stuff right there. Well, day's almost over. What a cool little spot back here. I mean, I'm so far back in the moonshine. These little ponds and stuff. It's pretty cool. Just really cool. And this pond's been here forever. It's never changed. I don't know why. I've never really caught them in here, to be honest with you, in this particular spot. But a couple of those other places pretty good. But I don't know. You know, we didn't get the job done today. But we did learn a little bit about the lake. And that's at the end of the day, that's all it's about. Just going to have to get comfortable. Keep, find a couple areas that can has the potential to produce some bigger bites. And um, eh, it's all good. It was uh, a challenging day. I'll say that. But nevertheless, it's always a good day. Buddy, nice, nice. Well, finish up the day with a little chunk. <laughs> little bonus fish on the way in. Just kept checking clarity, you know. Little, little pockets of clean water. It's another nice fish. Not tournament winners, but it's a good indicator. Thank you, buddy. Buddy! Hey! <laughs> Beautiful sunny Florida where the wind never blows. You know, that water looked good in there, too. Yeah. And the hydrilla. So I mean, what, I mean, what? Yeah, it's the only place on the whole shoal that has hydrilla that they can spawn in. Really? Yep. That might be good. It could be. Yeah. How many did you catch? Fifteen pounds? Hey. You? No, I didn't have but that one. It might be a three pounder. I'd had like twelve, thirteen pounds. I lost a rod and reel. I broke my trolling motor handle three times. My motor overheated three times. I caught eight bass. Two decent ones. Overall, it sucked. We're gonna do this all year, baby. I'm gonna do this. And I'm not gonna stop till the fourth quarter. I'm gonna go continuous till the fourth quarter, baby. Continuous. <laughs> uh, so the number one trending hashtag right now on Twitter is F the NFL. Well. I seen MVP, the guy in the stripes got the MVP of the game. He did? Yeah. He got paid off too by Vegas. Yeah. Pretty sure he got a new car or something out of the deal. It's all right. I mean, I've seen I, mean, I really didn't, don't have a dog in it, but I, I, I sure would have liked to seen the players decide who's going to win. No offense, the first holding play, the whole game, and you wait till the last two minutes, yeah. the deciding factor, and it wasn't even a holding call? It wasn't even holding. It wasn't even holding. No. So... All right, so the updated weather is what? Not as cold? Really Not cold. as cold. A lot more wind. <laughs> when it blows over 20, when it legit blows over 20, it moves a lot of water. Terrible. Yeah, middle of the day. Straight in the butt, kid. What is that, 14? 11. 11. Why didn't you just say the wind? I ain't got that. You got that. I ain't got that updated one. We don't pay for the pro. It's only like four dollars a year, dude. Yeah. Well, I'd pay for it. He lost. The, the he end. lost two rods today. The end was. The it end don't was even know when they fell out. I don't know when either one of them fell out. I have meltdowns on the water, plenty of them. He was one inch from a, a, a bad screaming match. I could see it and feel it. Today? I could see him like two hundred yards away, and I it, he was bending down, picking his trauma up, bending down, picking his trauma up. 
I was wrapping that cable around my hand. My hand was hurt so bad. Good night, y'all. Good night. Better tell them good night. I guess I'll sleep in in the morning since y'all did today. Yeah, I'll be up at five thirty. I'll see you down here. Good night, y'all. To you. Look, right where we left off. Healthy breakfast. Healthy breakfast. We can't be loud this morning. Healthy breakfast. It's Suzanne and Hillary are sleeping. And I'm telling you, so you'd be quiet. I was sleeping. He'd be slamming doors, stomping on the floor. And when Suzanne's sleeping, we gotta be quiet. <laughs> this is her house, though. I don't know, it's weird, dude. Like in all in, in the history of the of the lake, flipping's always a factor. The deal. It's always a factor. It's either it's either wins or second or third. I mean, it's always the deal. And this this year for some reason, and you would think with the high water, there's plenty of water in the mats. They just get up underneath them. Yeah, that's what's wrong. Too, Too much, much water. water. Yeah. All right guys, six thirty in the morning, it's day two of practice. Day one was really, really windy. Uh, you couldn't get around much, and I think it affected the fish. Water was moving a lot, pushing a lot of dirty water around. Uh, today, I'm going to move down south, see if we can't find some clear water down that way, and hopefully we'll find some, some big fish. Uh, still trying to catch them on moving baits. Going to throw a vibrating jig, uh, swim jig. Top water's going to be a deal in this tournament, but you just got to wait till this wind and everything gets out of here. But today, we we'll move down south. See if we can find some good clear water and good areas, habitat, and see if we can catch some big ones. There it is, right there. Lake Okeechobee. Champion. There it is. But now how awesome would a blue one look in here? I need some blue. It's all it's all like bronze and wood. We need some blue. And then, oh, this is cool. Should I sport this at the classic? This is my great this is my grandfather's fishing club jacket. Believe it or not, my mom was a huge fisherman, or fisherwoman, or however you want to say it. But her dad, my grandfather, Paul, Paul's Valley Bass Club. So, pretty cool. I think he likes hanging out with us. He likes to be a part of the action. You know, it's like you say to yourself, oh man, he's going to blow this thing away. And, uh, and, I, and I feel like I'm going to have a great tournament. I feel like I'm going to, I feel like I'm going to do well. I'm gonna have a great day today. I'm gonna find some fish today. Everything on this lake, it's it's not about what you find today. It's about areas that are productive, areas that have potential, areas that are gonna set up for the wind and the weather. And um, so yesterday was a little bit of a learning. I got to see kind of some areas that stayed clean through all that wind, which is good because those are the areas that are gonna kind of stay productive. Uh, the wind has shifted slightly from the mostly south the first two days of the tournament, which my rule typically is when the wind's out of the south, fish south. When the wind's out of the north, fish north. Uh, it says 10 to 15, but it could be 20. If it's 20, that's a problem for the north end on a south wind day because it will push a lot of sustained water into areas. So depending how far back you are, and a lot of the stuff I found yesterday up there that, that I feel good about was far back. And obviously the moonshine stuff is not going to get, it's not going to get muddy at all. It's just, those fish are finicky. As you saw yesterday, fish through there quite a bit. Three pounds was the biggest fish I caught. You know, so it makes it a little difficult to win a tournament in there just because of those factors. Now, can I still go in there and catch a 20 pound bag? Absolutely. Because the tournament's gonna be warm, it's gonna be a lot better weather. You can fine tune your cast. You know, 40 mile or 30 mile or wind yesterday, drifting around, just winging it everywhere, crashing into things with the trolling motor. That's not the best way to catch a big fish on Okeechobee. So today we're going to go down south and see what we can find.
Right. Right. I want to let it go. It's not going to eat little. Glad to get you, buddy. I'm back to tell you, buddies, I'm back. Back in the neighborhood. Just tell them. Tell them I'm back in the neighborhood. Oh, there's a big one right there, dude. Wow. There you go, buddy. Hey buddy, I love you. I love you, man. I love you, dude. I just love you. I just love you. Have I told you how much that I love you? <laughs> Jimmy Houston, I'm all week, boys. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, now. What I do, typically, is I'll take one of these barber stops. Got a bigger barber stop in my bag. Let's cover this hook up. This barber stop. Mm, that's on. Now I can't hook them. They don't. They hold on to it long enough. You'll. You'll know. Hey now. Felt okay. It was a giant. We need to find five or six bites. And here's what we need to, what we need to find. That's what we need. Not just one bite. I've got a two ounce tungsten on this. And this is when I use the TK-135. Very important. You put the TK-130 on this, which is the, the 5 aught. sorry, 5 aught. 5 aught TK-130, before they made the 135, was my flipping hook, but it was borderline. It got the job done, but it was borderline too light. So they came out with the 135, which is what I'm throwing right now. And it's strong. Very strong. Flipping this big weight, you gotta sometimes pull these fish out of some pretty thick stuff. Otherwise, you're gonna need a two ounce weight. So, hits the strong hook. That's one bad mama jamma right there, dude. Look at that thing. Guggen Punch. 65 pound P line X braid. Begging, dude. Wow. Okay. Found something here at least. That's a beautiful fish right there, guys. Beautiful fish right there. Big thick one too. Look at that. Look at that boy. 
days. Okay. Right on the other side here. And uh anyways, two more bites. But I don't know, dude. Pretty strong, dude. Shoot. Turners, I didn't get a bite, dude. I, I ran him back in turners in that pond back there. Not that, like, if you're looking at it from the lake, not the not the right hand one, but the left hand one. Yeah. Oh. And I oh, ran into oh, that pond. What? I got a giant, dude. Really? Yeah, really. I got a hook keeper on here too. I mean, it's an eight or nine pounder, dude. God, you're gonna win the tournament right there. It's freaking giant, dude. It's a ten pounder. Usually when you say I it, mean, it's like No, no, seriously. I got it right here. Hold on, I got him coming. God, dude. Him? Dude, look at the, oh my God, oh my God. You gotta see the, the come here, you gotta look at this thing. Canterbury just pulled up. Oh my gosh, he's big, dude. Canterbury just pulled up. Look at the gut on this. Look at the gut on that thing. Holy crap, dude. Guys, guys, I've never seen, that. that is the biggest belly I've ever seen on a bass, dude. Guys, look at that thing. Look at that thing. Look at that thing, dude. I don't know, like an eight. Look at the belly on that thing. Dude, that's awesome, guys. Look at that fish. That's a big one. That's a big one. I got a hook keeper on that thing, dude. Well, I, a little better. A little better, but not great. That one spot is a weird little spot, but maybe it'll, maybe it'll serve up a few big fish throughout the tournament. I mean, a four and a big fat one, and those other ones are good fish too. So, kind of a crazy deal. I don't quite understand it, but that's okay. I think I drive by there every day anyways, but come south, so. You know, the good thing is it doesn't take long to fish it. Oh God, he's not gonna slow down. Careful, dude. I was Holy gonna jump geez. off. He took off. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You almost ran him over. Did I? Yeah. Just gotta, we gotta keep fighting for the right water levels in this lake and habitat, ma mainly habitat. You know, I, I talk about water levels all the time and water levels are important because it's what helps the habitat grow. But we have hardly any habitat right now. We're at an all time low and we need some bad. And when we have a lot of habitat, a lot of submerged vegetation, then we can deal with a high lake every once in a while. It's not a big deal. The water can come up to 16 or 17 feet for a couple months and everybody lives but when you have no habitat and the lake goes to 16 or 17 feet and sits there it's just muddy and there's no place to fish so we need habitat so do me a favor guys if you guys care about fisheries in general if you care about Lake Okeechobee check out the page that we started it's called anglers for Lake Okeechobee a flow it's something that um, I'm passionate about you know it, it, it talk we talk about issues here on the lake and a lot of those same issues that we talk about on the lake are the same issues that will help the overall water quality around the whole state, Florida, or South Florida, I should say. So we know we gotta we gotta address the big girl right out here. And that's the that's the real issue right there. She's big and she is uh, needs a lot of attention. You can't just let her just sit back and be a holding pond for a bunch of water that somebody put in the lake. Because it didn't come from the lake, it came from runoff other places anyways i'm ranting but let's take it back to the house park this thing i actually might run a crossfit believe it or not i have a 645 class i need to get some of this aggravation off me got to get release some of that come on back yes. dude i fished everything like 200 yards around him like a never, hole and never had a bite never had a bite as he said it was like a one cast deal i mean i seen him catch it dude that's the third one I know. Second one he caught him, lost one. Well, but yeah. Let's see what we got here, Scott. Oh my gosh. 
Special delivery. Yeah, this is like a box. It's a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, I've never seen anybody get candy delivered. Well, I got wow. it's really hot oh, my oh, it's Valentine's It's a custom, <laughs> it's a custom <laughs> sour patch. Look at that. Oh, that's awesome. I love it. Oh, Two pounds of Sour Patch Kids. Oh, my gosh. That's pretty good, dude. That is good. <laughs> Man, Valentine's Day. Oh, my gosh, yes. That's her favorite. I better hide these. You better. Yeah. Well, the best cool. Valentine's Day ever. Okay. Two uh, pounds. Two pounds. This a, place is the worst mosquitoes I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, okay. They're right. They don't lie over there. Yeah, it's not tonight. It's cold. You just put it beside it right there. That'd be good. Okay. Be perfect. Oh, that's good. You put it on top. It's good. I'll mix it up. Now, listen, there's plenty of beans. Okay. So, y'all come back. Oh, yeah. Put it up in there, Matt. Perfect. I promise you that. Well, there's plenty. (laughs) Thank you. And, Scott, the bread, will you grab it out of the oven? What's funny is, what's funny is he'll sit like that. He started doing it on his own. Like we don't ever tell him to do it. He just sits like that. You ever seen him do that? No. Tag him on Instagram, but at at at, at Baylor Boy Seven. <laughs> Are you serious? He got his own Instagram yeah. page. <laughs> we don't call him Hollywood for nothing. His dog has an Instagram page. <laughs> All right, so we've got Hillary's uh, softball game tonight. This is her first game of the season and her last season because she's a senior. So we're going to go in here and cheer her on, and Canterbury and Matt are with us. So she's going to be pretty surprised to see them cheering her on. And that's one of the benefits of having this tournament here on the lake, so we can do some family stuff and fish the tournament, which is uh, always special. So let's go inside and check it out. Tell, yeah. tell her what you said about it. They'd have given us what? Yeah, they got lucky. They got lucky y'all didn't have another in it. <laughs> <laughs> they just got yeah, lucky. We, we had our rally caps on. We would have won out of the six. Yeah. yeah, we were fixing to put it on. Sammy, good game, honey. They were bragging on you. Good game. All right, I'm frozen. Oh, it's fine. All right. Good job, guys. I don't know. What I said. Real bad idea. McCoy. Look at him. Hey. What's up, buddy? The good thing was. That was a heck of a catch up there. All yeah. the way to the morning track. morning track nearly. Bang. Back foot was yeah. going nearly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He had one foot on the fence like this. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. Need to improve on the hitting, but I guess it's still got the eye. He only swung. Well, well, that time he only swung once. I kept hitting it short. It was cho- I was chopping at it bad, and I, the, I was way too inside. But it's just all I got to work on. All right. Job. I'm cold. Let's go. Let's go. We gotta go. We gotta go to bed. We gotta figure out where to fish. It's getting cold by the minute. I'm yeah. short. It's just not a good idea. Not a good idea. Pancakes? Valentine Day pancakes? I'm making you pancakes, my boy. You want a pancake, Cameron? No. No, I've already eaten. Because the lake has its own weather, it always has. Look, no wind. Wind on the ocean, wind on the ocean, wind on the lake. 
Now that could change. See how that's like a... That's for Saturday, right? Right. But look how like here it's nothing. There, nothing. Well, oh, 15, nothing. 16, but look, it's way more. 20, it's like five miles an hour more in the lake. They don't feel real good. It's been two days on Okeechobee and I hadn't caught them, so. Uh, got to put it together today. I'm going to go try some new water again today. We got to figure this thing out. Staying at Scott's, you're supposed to be able to catch them when you're down here. Automatic, right? Automatic. I've stayed here before and didn't cash a check. So. <laughs> but mysteriously, Scott made like a top 10 in that tournament. Isn't that Always. odd? Isn't that weird how things work out? Slow down. down. Yeah, that is true. Because the one tournament, this is the joke, the one tournament uh, makes sense. Me? People retiring or old and can't go fast, they move down here. Tim That's right, it's retirement late. <laughs> you fish it like a retirement. KVD should do well. I think he's moving down here. KVD can really catch it now. <laughs> Kevin's moving down here. That was not a that was not a, sh a side market. Kevin, he retired from, from tournament fishing. From tournament he's not fishing. retired. But now he can come down here and catch him, even though he's caught here before. I think he won a tournament here one time. Probably, <laughs> probably he won, he won a tournament, tournament everywhere. <laughs> but uh, at least one. But no, seriously, that tournament that you fished too fast on, Tim Frederick won the tournament. I I had um, had the same fish. Me and Tim were sharing the same stretch. Tim and I. Yes, Tim and I. Oh, I love that map. All right, so back in, I don't know what year it was, but Man. Tim and I were sharing the same water there in Monkey Box. It was a stretch of reeds and a couple little deals. And I was catching them on chatterbaits and flipping the reeds. Well, him and I were seesawing back and forth, like, you know, 20 pounds a day, whatever. Same and Matt, reed yeah, Matt was, Matt, Matt was, I'm like, come in there, dude, and then you'll catch them. But he was fishing real fast on the troll motor. Like, I'd power pull down and pick every reed apart. He was, he just run and make two casts to the next one, not getting any bites. Ain't fishing. no fun fishing the way they was fishing. It was, it was fun. Tim was like the first from here yeah. to the pool away, and he'd make yeah. a cast and you know the first smoke day, a cigarette. <laughs> the first day I was okay, Scott. I had thirteen or fourteen pounds, and yeah. I was in check range. Second day I caught one bass. One. Yeah. I've got a lot of work to do today. I don't really have anything at this point. You know, I'd say this is probably. The least amount of fish that I've ever had found at Okeechobee at this point. I mean, I have the areas that have them, and I think those areas will produce. It's just today I really need to find like a jam up area that's like game on. Like there they are. That's them. I want to find one of those places. Hey, buddy. Thank you, dude. He was peeing everywhere. So, that means needs a little spawning action on this. If there's one, then there could be another. guys you just got to keep jumping through little ponds and the water's up like this it's all about little ponds and getting back in stuff this looks pretty right here I don't know if I'm gonna catch them in here or not but it sure does look right Honestly, guys, I'm I'm at a little bit of a loss here, but you know what? It's just it is what it is. I mean, you can only only uh, you can only do what you can do. 
That's a fact. And right now, I do not have anything that is like awesome. Well, the best I have right now is just my ability to fish this lake and be in a couple of areas that have them. And uh, it only takes a few minutes to find them, man. I'll find something special today that I can start on. That would be good. catch him. Oh, I have a hook keeper on it. inches that's what we're dealing with dude that's exactly what we're dealing with last cast That's it. That is it, fellas. Time to head in. All right, we made it in. Long day on the water. Hey, Mills. Hey. What are you doing? I have to go to a Valentine's Day dinner. Valentine's Day dinner? Yeah. Let me see your fit. <laughs> Dang, now that's... Got the puffy sleeves and these. I like it. The red belt. Mm-hmm. So, All right. Happy Valentine's you. Day. Happy Valentine's Day. This is not typical of Okeechobee, guys. That's all I can tell you. Look at all these bugs, dude. That's crazy. Ah, oh, man. So we're going to go get something to eat. The video's not over. we got all day tomorrow. we got some stuff to do. We'll take you guys to the meeting as well and uh, do the whole boat tour thing tomorrow. They take pictures of the boat. We rig tackle, do a bunch of stuff. Baylor, are you gonna go with us? He should go with us tomorrow. Oh, I thought you meant the tiki bar. No, but he should go tomorrow with us. It'd be fun. He'd like that. He can sit up in the boat the whole day. Baylor, you gonna go? You gonna go with us? He likes to. All right, let's hang out for a minute. Talk about scenario, current, current, current scenario. I don't have anything in moonshine that I think I'm gonna run to. I think everything in there is little fish. That 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 bit the last couple days in there. So will those fish turn in a little better grade? I think they will, but I don't see the potential in there. I just don't. It's For me, it's like, look, I wanna do well. I wanna get a check, but this is Okeechobee. I have one chance to win Okeechobee. This is an opportunity I can't let slip through my fingers. So. I'm not going to go fish somewhere where I might be able to just get a check. I mean, I'm fishing to win. So I'm not going to Moonshine. What I what I found down south, I think has potential. I can see if I manage my stuff right, if I manage what I have found correctly. And a couple places don't quite get muddy or, you know, the weather doesn't affect them too much. And everything goes right and I manage them right 
you know, there, there's a potential to do well in the tournament. Can Do I see a path to victory right now? N not necessarily, but a lot closer now than, than yesterday, for sure, with what I found today. So that being said, we're just going to have to go with it. You know, I've got a couple good zones. I, I know what lives in these places. You know, it's it's a build a bag program. It's 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 unique. It's unique because you know a lot of tournaments you're looking for a group of fish that are like the right size. Here on Okeechobee, and it's always been this way. It's like, you know, if you're catching two pounders, if you're catching solid twos, you're going to catch threes, fours, and fives, and sixes and sevens. If you're getting twelve inch little skinny little resident, what I call resident bass, then your potential is not all that great. But if you're getting solid two, two and a half pounders that are like what we call lake fish, you know, you're gonna you're gonna run into some some better fish along the way. So I think that's kind of what I've found, you know, for the most part. So we'll see, guys. You know, we've got uh off day tomorrow. It's our meeting day. This is where we take the truck and the boat. We take it out there, take pictures of it, they get everything ready, they go through the meeting. We have this big long meeting, go through all the different rule changes, make sure that everybody's doing everything they're supposed to be doing. And um and that's that. So we get to rig tackle tomorrow, get everything ready. And uh, I get to get some sleep. I actually want to go to the gym in the morning, though. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to leave it all right here. And I'm going to go to bed. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Badging it up right here. I got to do something. We're going with silver this year. <laughs> we did all black last time. Because this boat's a little darker. Oh yeah, that looks nice. Yep, that's the move, dude. It's like a little bling. It just adds a little. It's the black dot SMC edition, but you just had to just a little little bling. I think that looks good. You like that? Yeah, adds a little little sparkle. It's actually pretty cool for me, like putting the stickers on each year now this is my third year of doing this it's special like that's that's to me honestly that's a special badge that's not something you can go by at the store it goes on the boat and that just that represents that represents the hard work that we we put in to get here and that that's cool I think I've uh, cashed one check on this lake in my career and been here maybe five times. So the track record's not that great, but it's time to change that. And um, unfortunately, I'm gonna be like the majority of the field and I'm gonna have to fish around other boats, which I hate doing, I, I despise it. And um, you know, I hope we run across a couple of those Okeechobee specials cause that's what it takes here. And not one a day. Like one a day, you get in check range. Two big ones a day, you're pushing where you need to be. Three big ones a day, and that's right where you need to be. Today was the hottest day we've had yet. And, and these fish are just real finicky. I mean, you know, I've been here before, and I actually made a top 10 one year where the first two and a half days of practice, I got like three or four bites a day. And then at two o'clock on the third day of practice, you could pull up just about anywhere on the lake, it seemed like, and catch, you know, 18 to 20 pounds. So uh, I've seen these fish make those big moves, and it happened, and I just hope that I can land in the right area tomorrow and uh, capitalize on some really good bites. But it's gonna take it, we're at Okeechobee, so I haven't had a good practice, but I've still got high expectations and uh, looking forward to getting out there tomorrow and giving it my all. I'm excited about tomorrow. Nervous at the same time because the way the lake's fishing. You know, it's, it's, it's here's the deal. It's like, you know, you can go out and find all the stuff you want to find. And a lot of these same people are going to find a lot of the same stuff. So what am I going to have to myself tomorrow, if anything? Probably not. It's not a big deal if I don't, but it sure would be nice to have a couple of things that are a little off the beaten path. But, you know, we put in three hard days of practice. We did what we could. And, uh... 
I'll go out there tomorrow. I'm just going to fish confident. I'm going to have a good day. Fish slow, fish methodical, but efficient at the same time. No. Get it, Baylor. See it? No. No. See it? See it? See, Baylor. See it. He won't do it for me. See Get it, it Baylor. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He likes a snack stick. That's going to be my snack sticks for tomorrow. Let's go, baby. 2023 season is about to start in the morning. New video coming your way. So thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out, guys. I love you so much. I'm fired up now. Good night. I forgot the bam. Bam!